The Russian Defense Ministry has published images which it says shows the launch of the Kalber cruise missile from the newest Russian diesel submarine. Russian authorities say that the that during the maneuvers, the Kalber launched from an underwater position, successfully hit a coastal target at a distance of about a thousand kilometers. Now, this submarine of Pacific Fleet launched the new Kalber missile and successfully destroyed a coastal target in the Pacific Fleet. It is one of the first diesel-electric submarines capable of carrying high-precision caliber cruise missiles. The drill also involved covert movement and support from military ships, aircraft, drones. Now, Japan lays claim to the Russian-held southern Kuril Islands in the nearby sea of Okos, which Tokyo refers to as the Northern Territories in a territorial row uh, dating from the end of World War II. Now, when Soviet troops seized them from Japan... The dispute has prevented the two countries from signing a formal peace treaty. Meanwhile, Russian President Vladimir Putin attended via video link a flag-raising ceremony of a new two, two new nuclear submarines, powered missile submarines, joining the Russian Navy. Putin congratulated Russian naval forces, noted in his speech that it was an essential milestone in their history. Kanya Zoleg is a Buraya-class submarine armed with ballistic missiles, Bulava by Novosibirsk is a Yasin class submarine equipped with cruise missiles. Caliber and Onyx, which can hit sea targets and deliver precision strikes on ground targets as well. The United States is monitoring the developments. However, Washington says there are not plans. Uh, there are no plans of an in-person meet between Putin and Biden as of now. Whether uh, that leads to um, at some point another meeting between. Uh, the president uh, and, and, and President Putin. Uh, I, 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 I leave that for another day. There are no plans uh, to do that now. I think uh, we have to see if, in the first instance, there's any progress dip diplomatically. We also want to see Russia de-escalate to move forces back from the border with, uh, with Ukraine, to take down uh, the tension. Uh, it's um, much more appropriate to have a conversation uh, in those circumstances than it is when um, the escalation is happening, not de-escalation. Meanwhile, the United States is stepping up weapon sales in deployments in Europe. And now, a U.S. department has approved the potential sale of Javelin anti-tank missiles to the government of Lithuania in a deal valued at $125 million. The sale comes as tensions are running high in Eastern Europe with Russia massing troops along its border with Ukraine. In October, the Biden administration sent Javelins to Ukraine. The U.S. embassy in Kyiv said on Twitter, the Pentagon says that proposed sale will help Lithuania build its long-term defense capacity to defend its sovereignty and territorial integrity in order to meet its national defense requirements. Despite approval by the State Department, the notification does not indicate that a contract has been signed or that negotiations have been concluded here. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.